Jay Srimanarana. The following commentary I'm about to give is by Ramanuja Dasa Sriman Gattu Venu Gopal Swami. Chapter 13 Shetra Shetra Gnya Vibhaga Yoga Soka 12 Gnyayam Yattat Pravakshyami Yadnyatva Amrutam Asnute Anadi Matparam Brahma Nasatana Sat Vuchyate Vum Kita Charya, Sri Krishna Paramatma, is teaching Shetra Shetra Gnya, Vibhaga Yoga to all of us along with Arjuna. Paramatma is saying, Arjuna, so far I have mentioned twenty qualities as means to attain Atma Darshanam or Self-Realization. Now let me tell you about the Atma or Soul. What the Atma or Soul is when it is not connected with the body and what its nature is. Arjuna, if you know about this Atma, you could attain liberation from the repeated cycles of births and deaths. Arjuna, Atma has no beginning. Atma has no birth. Atma is extremely small. Atma is pure. Atma is under my control, which means I am the supreme lord of Atma. Atma is an embodiment of knowledge. Thus, Atma is pervaded by knowledge. Just as a lamp is all pervading with its light, so the Atma is all pervading with its knowledge. But after the creation, Atma takes different bodies and is called by different names. Therefore, it can be called Sat or existent. Moreover, since these bodies and names will not exist during the times of the dissolution. So the Atmas can be said to be Asat or non-existent. But even when there is no connection with the bodies, the Atmas or soul always exist. Therefore, in one way, the Atma could be said to be Sat and Asat. In another way, the Atma cannot be said to be Sat and Asat. Like that, Sri Krishna Paramatma is telling us about Atma, that is about us, about our glory. Also, Sri Krishna Paramatma is declaring that he is the Lord of all Atmas or souls. Hence, let us believe that Sri Krishna Paramatma is our Supreme Lord. While striving to make our life meaningful, by surrendering to Sri Krishna Paramatma or Sri Manarana, let us try to repeat Sri Krishna Paramatma's words in the form of a sloka as they are. Gnyayam yattat pravakshyami yadnyatvam rutamasnuti Anadimat param brahma nasattan nasaduchyate. The entire essence of Srimad Bhagavad Gita is given by Sri Krishna Paramatma in chapter 18, sloka 65 to 70 to do eight things. Sri Krishna says, I love those who follow these eight things. I'll protect those devotees in all kinds of ways. After listening to all of the Bhagavad Gita spoken by Sri Krishna Paramatma, Arjuna says, Karache Vachanam Tava which means, Krishna, I will do as you say. This is why Sri Krishna has bestowed Arjuna all kinds of successes and victories. Let's give Paramatma our vow that we will observe these eight actions. There is no puja, tapas, or yajna that is greater than giving this word to Paramatma. I will say these eight vows we should make. You all please think these in your mind and heart. In this way of us giving Sri Krishna our word, let us all visualize Sri Krishna's face beaming with joy and full bliss. Jai Shri Manarana. These are our eight promises. Our first promise. O Sri Manarana, as you instructed, I will always meditate upon and think of you. Our second promise. O Sri Manarana, as you advised, I will always be your devotee. Our third promise. O Sri Manarana, I will perform all my actions as service to you and for your satisfaction. Our fourth promise, O Sri Manarana, as you said to follow, I have great faith that I belong to you and I will always join my hands together and do namaskaram to you and worship you. Our fifth promise, O Sri Manarana, I recall your words, Mam Ekam Sharanam Raja, that you said to surrender to you alone. Sri Manarana, I surrender to you alone. Our sixth promise, O Sri Manarana, I recall your words, Ma Sujaha, that you are giving us reassurance to not grieve. I shall no longer grieve. Our seventh promise. 
O Srimad Narayana, you have graced and blessed us all by delivering Srimad Bhagavad Gita for our sake. I promise to read or listen to it at least one sloka daily. Our eighth promise, O Srimad Narayana, you delivered Gita to all humanity. I will try to spread your divine words in Gita to those devotees who are unfamiliar with Gita. We just made our eight promises to Paramatma. Giving Srimad Narayana a word each day that we will do as he says itself is a great puja. Let's give him a promise with our unshakable faith. O Srimad Narayana, I will do as you say, I will behave as you wish, and I will work only for you. Srimad Narayana Karashe Vachnam Tava Which means Srimad Narayana, I will act according to your instructions. Sarvam Sri Krishna Paramastu Jai Srimad Narayana Gneyam Yattat Pravakshyami Yadnyatva Amrutam Asnute Anadi Matparam Brahma Nasat Tannāsat Vuchyate Vum Gnyayam yattat pravakshyami yadnyatva amrutam asnute anadimat param brahma nasat tannāsad uchyate Jai Sri Manayana, a special request to all devotees. In all things in our life, we want immediate and effective results. To achieve this, let's spend one minute daily and read Narayanastaram. In order to obtain Narayanastaram, go to Narayanastaram web- website, which is www.narayanastaram.org, and provide your name and email in the registration. You will receive a Narayanastaram PDF to the email you provided. In the PDF, there is a Ramayana Sloka, a Gita Sloka, and a Vishnu Nama. The three of these put together there is called Narayanastaram. Everyone receives a different combination of these slokas. When everyone reads or listens to their Narayanastram daily, along with 24,000 devotees, one round of Sampurna Ramayana Parayana, 33 rounds of Srimad Bhagavad Gita Parayana, 24 rounds of Sri Vishnu Sahasrama Stotra Parayana is completed every day. This is such a remarkable and extraordinary outcome that comes out of doing this every single day. That's why you and your family members immediately go and obtain your Narayanastram. Jai Shri Manarana.